Welcome to Easy Elim Learning Simplified. My name is Ruth and today we are going to be discussing Form 2 Mathematics and our topic for today is quadratic expressions and equations. So we, today we are going to factorize when the coefficient of x is greater than 1. So in our previous lesson we looked on factorization when the coefficient of x is 1. And that is the x squared. When you talk about x is x squared, that's what we mean. So um, when it comes to factorization of uh, an expression, when the coefficient of x squared is greater than 1, we still use the same formula, but the only difference, our value of a, remember, is going to be different. So let's open this uh, equation first so that we are going to use this expression to work out this one. So it's going to be 4x into bracket 2x plus 1, and then plus 3, 2x plus 1. So we, ca we did this uh, expansion in the previous videos. You can go back and check. So this is 8x squared plus 4x plus uh, 6x plus 3. This becomes 8x squared plus 4x plus 6x becomes 10x plus 3. So this is what usually come from. So we have to go back to get the factors. So you will notice we said for us to get two numbers that, that if you multiply a, b. In our case, our a, b is 8 times 3, which gives us 24. And our sum is 10. So we need two numbers such that if you multiply them together, you get 24. If you add them, you get 10. And you know these numbers are 6 and 4. If you multiply 6 times 4, you get 24. If you add 6 plus 4, you get 10. So we, 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 are, we are doing like backwards. So let's put the additions as we did in the previous lesson. So this is going to become x squared plus 4x plus 6x plus 3. I like putting the 4x first because there's a relationship between 4 and 8, and then 6x because there's a relationship between 6 and 3. It makes my work easier. Then you group this together, and you group this together. So what is common here? First of all, we have an x that is common, but we also have a 4 that is common. Note this is a bit different from before. Because now, when you look at 8x squared and 4x squared, if you divide by 4 both sides, it's going, there's going to be a division. It's possible. It's not there. There are even numbers. So if you open this bracket, you're going to get a 4x here. So that when you multiply, this is 2, not 4. When you multiply 4x times 2x, you get 8x squared. Always ask yourself if you do that multiplication, can you get the original value? And then plus what is common here now is 1. Because if you open, it becomes 4x times 1, which becomes 4x. And then plus what is common here is 3. Because 3 is a multiple. So we have 2x plus 1. As you can see, you see these two values in the bracket are similar. If you know fewer are not similar, please check your work. So this becomes 4x. You pick the ones that are outside, plus 3, and 2x plus 1. So in the same manner, to factorize an expression, ax squared plus bx plus c, we look for two numbers such that their products is AC and their sum is B. And then we split the middle term into two terms such that their coefficients and the numbers so determined as we have done. So you see the process is still the same with values x squared is equal to 1, but the difference is a little bit different because in this case it's B. So let's do a few more examples. So we have these two questions. So let's work them out and see how that is going to look like. So we have 6x squared minus 13 plus 6. So this is going to be our, our AB now or our product is going to be 6 times 6, which will give, will give us 36. And our sum is going to be negative 13. So we need two numbers such that if we multiply these two numbers, you're going to get 36. And if you add these two numbers, you're going to get 
negative 30. And these two numbers are 9 times 4. I want you, every time you get this number, you look at the multiples. Or when you, you are doing the factors of 36 and figure out you can do different but, uh, uh, multiplications until you get those two numbers. You can do it on the side. When you look at the multiples, you do the factor tree until you get those numbers. Sometimes it might come very straight away, but other times you need to put some extra work. Those, those two numbers are 9 and 4, and 4. But if you add 9 plus 4, you get 13, which is not negative 13. Hmm? So, it tells you our values are going to be, if you multiply 9 times negative 4, you get positive 36. And if you add minus 9 minus 4, you get minus 13. So our numbers have negative values, and that's where you need to be a bit careful. So let's put that in our question now. So this becomes 6x squared minus 9x minus 4x plus 6. It becomes like that. So the only thing we change is these two sum values as what we put. So you combine these two and you combine these two. So what is common here is 3x. So for you to get 6x squared, you multiply by 2x minus. For you to get 9x, you multiply by 3. And then there is a minus here. This is where now you need to be very careful. What is common here is 2. So this is going to be 2x such that if you multiply negative 2 times 2x, you get negative 4. And then inside here, the value is going to be negative so that when you multiply negative, negative, you get positive. And it's going to be 3. So you see our two values inside are the same. So this becomes 3x minus 2 and 2x minus 3. Let's do this question. So our a, b, our multiple is negative 4. We get by multiplying 2 times negative 2. And then our sum, which is b, becomes 3. So we need two numbers such that if you multiply them, you get negative 4. And if you add or subtract, you get 3. So that is going to be 4 and 1. But it's not going to be just typically 4 and 1. You need to multiply them. So we are going to do negative 1 plus 4, which is going to give us positive 3, but negative 1 times 4 is going to give us negative 4. So this is what we want. So it's going to be 2x squared minus x plus 4x minus 2. And then we, we match these two and we match these two. What is common in this bracket is x, so it becomes 2x. So that when you open, it becomes 2x squared minus 1 and then what is common here is also 2 which becomes 2x minus 1 so it becomes x plus 2 and 2x minus 1 so let's do a few questions so i'm going to do like one and then you do the rest so we have 3x squared plus 11x plus 6. So our AB is going to be 3 times 6, which gives us 18, and it's positive. And then our sum is positive 11. So we need two numbers. If you multiply them, you get 18, positive 18. If you add them, you get positive 11. That's going to be 9 and 2. So 9 times 2 gives us uh, 18, and then 9 plus 2 gives us 11. So this is going to be 3x squared plus 9x plus 2x plus 6. So this is going to be, you, you, you group this and you group this. So what is common here is 3x. If you open, it becomes x plus 3. Because if you open, this becomes 3x squared. And then 3x times 3, you get 9x. And then plus, what is common here is 2x plus 3. If you open, you're going to get the same value. So you pick 3x plus 2 and x plus 3. And finally, this question, our AB. So this question, you can make it into its simplest form to make your work easier. You can divide everywhere by 2 to make it by 2, 1, by 2, 8 by 2, 1, by 2, 12, 
by 2, 1 by 2, 1. So it becomes like what we did in the previous. So it becomes 8x plus 12 plus x squared. So our AB, we have our A on x and our B is 12. Don't, don't get confused because the equation has changed. So it is 1 times 12. So our, our product is positive 12. And then our B is the sum is 8, positive 8. So we need two numbers such that if you multiply them, you are going to get 12. And if you add them, you're going to get 8. So this is going to be 6 and 2. So 6 times 2, you get 12. 6 plus 2, you get positive 8. So this is going to be 8. We can change this equation a bit to 8 squared plus 8x plus 12. I just changed it a bit so that it can be in the form of a ax squared plus bx plus c so that when I, I separate the bx it becomes easier you can do the same so this becomes x squared plus 6x plus 2x plus 12 so I can match these two and match these two so this the common thing is x x plus 6 and then the common here is 2x plus 6. So our answer is x plus 2 and x plus 6. So that brings us to the end. So you've seen the slight difference between uh, when the coefficient of x squared is 1 and greater than 1. There's only just a slight difference. You can check out more revision questions in the app and notes in the app on the same. See you in the next lesson.